Number 15, last question. Here we have on the number line right here, what number represents the point half the distance between A and B? As we can see, A is the point at negative 3 and B is the point at positive 5. But then this question sounds slightly confusing, isn't it? What does the point half the distance between A and B means? First, we know that the A and the B are the endpoints, and then we are somewhere in between. But then where should we be so that we can be halfway from A and halfway from B? That has to be the middle, right? This question is just asking us for the middle point. A is at negative 3, B is positive 5, where is the middle? And to finish this up, let me demonstrate this way. The zero is already indicated for us, and let me just indicate odd numbers as well. And if I move from 0 to left 1 unit, that will be negative 1. Moving again, we will get negative 2. So that we can end up with negative 3 right here. And then we'll just count. From 0, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our first goal is to figure out what's the distance from A to B. And then we have to cut it in the middle. So we can just count. Or you can do subtract, but I think counting is easier right here because we have all the little lines ready for us. Anyways, starting from A, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 units to go from A to B. And we cut 8 into half. What's half of 8? It will be 4, isn't it? So, if we start with A and we move once, twice, three times, four times, this right here has to be in the middle. If you are right here, as you can see, you are 4 units away from A, and then you are also 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units away from B. And where is this point? This is 0, and I just need to move to the right one time. So this right here has to be the number 1. And there we have it. The answer to this question is choice B, the number 1. That's the middle point. And then of course, there's also a quick way, just in case if they tell you to do negative 35 and then positive 57, for example, where's the middle in that case? This is how we can find the middle point. So I'll abbreviate this as midpoint. And here is how we do it. We look at the endpoints, and then we add them up first. The endpoint is at negative 3 right here. And then we add it with the other endpoint, which is the 5. You always add the endpoints together, but then you also have to divide this by 2. And that's pretty much the setup. In this case, we will have to work out the top first. Negative 3 plus 5. That will be what? The answer to that will be positive 2. So work that out, and then we have positive 2 on the top. We still have to divide the 2 by 2. What's 2 divided by 2? We get 1. So you see, the middle point is at 1. This is a formula way, and this is a more official way. Which way do you guys like better? With this being done, this concludes all the simple questions that we have for the Algebra Readiness Assessment Test at Pierce College. I hope you guys find my videos helpful. You can also check out my other videos for the other math assessment test. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave me comments below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. At the end, best of luck to you guys on the actual test. That's it.